Hey guys, you're back to here once again. Welcome back to my channel. Alright. It's time for the SummerSlam 2018 results and what I fucking think about it. And I've looked over this list. I'm going to read them off to you. Uh, pretty big fucking disappointment. But let's go through it. Okay. So with the, god damn it, kickoff show, you had, um, uh, Sima, uh, Us, and Vega take take out Rusev of Alana. That's absolute bullshit. You've had them win two straight matches before the, ma um, the match at SummerSlam. You should have Rusev of Alana win this one. Fuck up on booking. Don't give a fuck about the Cruiserweight Championship match. B-Team defeat the Revival. No big um, thing there. They're doing, they're doing good with the B-Team right now. Uh, Intercontinental Championship, Seth Rollins defeats Dolph Ziggler. That was fucking good. I was hoping they would do that. Um, I like Dolph Ziggler and I like Seth Rollins, um, but with, um, <clears throat> Demon was back, I figured they're going to switch the titles at that point. And, until they brought him in, I figured Seth would lose this yet again. Uh, the New Day defeat the Blungy Brothers. That's, that one I was kind of iffy on. I, Money Bank briefcase match. Braun Strowman defeats Kevin Owens. Thank fucking God, because the fucking Owens would have won that fucking match. It would have been the dumbest fucking clue. Dumbest, one of the dumbest things that he could have done. They've done something worse later here. I'll tell you about it. <clears throat> yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, here's one of them. Stupidest fucking thing he could have done. Triple threat match for the Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair defeats uh, Carmella and Becky Lynch. That's fucking wrong. You should have gave it to fucking Becky Lynch. I'm sorry, Charlotte Fair is good, I like her, I like Carmel, I like, I like all three ladies, they do good with their job, and they do good with their gimmicks. Give the fuck a title to Becky Lynch. The only way you make up this is if you bring out a brand new title uh, at, at um, the Evolution pay-per-view, which reminds me of they are, I'll go over that in another video in the future. That's actually bullshit, give it to fucking Becky Lynch, she deserves it. And WWE Championship match Mojo. Uh, does defeat AJ Styles. That's the way it should have been. It would have been bullshit if AJ won it. I'm sorry. Smojo is good. You fucking tanked his ass for the last two fucking years since he's been there. You fucking let Brock Lesnar steamroll over his ass when Smojo should have won that when he had good steam. It's a consolation prize, I guess. I'm surprised they did it. Um, this... Was the best good. I'm glad they did this next one. Miz defeats Daniel Bryan. I thought it a thought. They would have fucked this up and let Daniel Bryan win. No. The Miz needs to win this to keep this feud going. And they played on it after the match with Daniel Bryan being upset. And he had a Brie Bella come and try to install his ass. Was it? This gives Daniel Bryan a good run. <clears throat> and it keeps the Miz in. And that feud going. The big problem they had with the Miz versus John Cena. It was a one of match. They have a Brought it back, and they should have. When Cena comes back, he comes back to SmackDown. You know what? They need to do something with uh, the Miz and Marais to doubt and bring bring in the fucking broken relationship of John Cena and Nikki Bella. Bring that shit in. You need to do that. Finn Balor came in to defeat Constable Corbin. I really don't understand why they even had these guys in a match. Not a lot really there. But the one good thing I like, which I've been saying they needed to do, was bring back Finn Balor and his demon paint. That is the best fucking gimmick he can have. I understand the WWE is having many problems right now, but Jesus Christ, when you got someone like Finn Balor who's good and talented and you're fucking over his gimmick, you're not doing good. United States Championship match, Nakamura defeated Jeff Hardy. Yeah, I don't know a fuck about that match. Another fuck up. Raw's Women's Championship match, Ronda Rousey defeats Alexa Bliss and this is a fucking squash match. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a simple. You should have had fucking Ronda Rousey lose. Don't give her the front fucking title the first time she goes after it. Make, make her fucking dis get disqualified. Fuck. Oh, God, WWE, you suck. Your fucking stories and your uh, trying to fucking create storylines suck. You fucked over an Iowa Jax. Alexa Bliss is a good champion, and yes, I know the title is but fuck! Give Rousey a fucking defeat! Let little Miss Bliss 
fuck over Ronda Rousey and then give her a rematch at fucking Evolution or our, whatever the next goddamn pay-per-view is. Make her become it. Make her fucking hungry. God damn, you fucked this shit up. And don't give it wrong. I, mean, I'm, I knew they would give the title to Rousey, but God, you gotta make her fucking chase that motherfucker. Uh, all you did was fucking have her wrestle one official, one or two official fucking matches. You st then suspend her ass for 35, uh, 45 fucking days and give her a fucking title match. That's bullshit. No. Make her fucking lose. Okay. Oh, God damn, this fucking match. Oh, hell, the Universal Championship match. Another fucking squash match. Two fucking championships that fucking squash. Didn't last five fucking minutes. Uh, Universal Championship. Roman Reigns defeat fucking Barclays. Goddamn. Thank fucking God. Get the storyline the fuck over. God damn. Three fucking years of this bullshit. Or four. The three they're trying to say four. I think it was three. Fuck. At least two. Bullshit. And... I even read all fucking. See, I didn't even watch this shit, but I knew that people would fucking boo this fucking match. They boo every fucking match these two have when their main offense, especially, and it happened again here at fucking SummerSlam. I read the reports that they were still fucking booing them after the fucking show went off the fucking air, telling them they both fucking suck. Why the WWE still fucking books this fucking match? Bullshit. Ever it's been your most hated fucking main event. Time after time after time after fucking time, you fucking get booed on the fucking. And I know they fucking pipe in, oh my, you know, the try to do cheers and, you know, to cover that fucking shit. But the, if you're at these live events, you hear this shit. You know, watch the fucking back of the crowd. How many fucking people do you see fucking cheering for this shit? You had fucking people walk out of the goddamn fucking matches while they're going on. They don't fucking care about Roman Reigns and fucking Brock Lesnar. This is why WWE can't fucking trust like You need fucking fresh storyline writers and fresh fucking bookers. Fucking call my ass. Email me. Dial me up. I know a bunch of other fucking people who come up with way better shit than this. God, this fucking shit sucks. I'm just glad they fucking got that fucking title off Brock Lesnar finally. They don't have to fuck with him anymore. You don't have to fuck with his shit. Because all that shit was fucking real. Brock Lesnar hates the fucking WWE Universe. He fucking hates us. Okay? And while you fucking stuck your championship title on that motherfucker for what? 500 some more days? Or what the fuck? Whatever it was. As fucking ass nine. You made that fucking title mean nothing. I mean, great. Yes, don't get me wrong. I know this is a fantasy world. I know this is just a fucking skip to tell what you but fuck, when you don't make your shit make fucking sense, you lose viewership. I barely fucking watch this shit anymore. I DVR this motherfucker and I fast forward through most of it. When I see a match that's a fucking, or a show that doesn't, to me, I fucking fast forward it. The only thing I always stop on usually is the ladies. Because the ladies have been having some of the best fucking matches and stories going on. That's pretty fucking sad. When only a third or a quarter of your fucking show is good... You got fucking problems. You know? And WWE has a lot more problems going on with it. I'll probably make another video with it. No, motherfucker, I'm going to say it here right now. WWE has got a serious fucking problem. The training claim they're the first deal of shit. They are fucking not. WWE has been saying, Oh, this is the first all-women's pay No, it ain't. TNA and Global Force Wrestling has already had their all-women, all-female pay-per-view. Is it the early this year or late last year? They're right fucking had you. Oh, we're the best expending our matches in there and make women, you know, be part of it. Too fucking late. Again, TNA are done that. They've done the hardcore matches, um, uh, the coffin matches, steel cage matches, you know, all the super shit. You're fucking late to the table, WWE. TNA has already released it, and I'm sure other promotions have. I just, where I'm at, I look at like WWE and, and TNA slash Global Force, you know, T Impact. That's all I'm, I got access to. So, it's been done elsewhere. And your imagination of, oh, if it didn't happen to WWE, it didn't fucking happen, doesn't fucking work with us wrestling fans, okay? We know there's other fucking places out there to watch wrestling. And you know that, too. So your little fantasy idea of, we just watch WWE, it's, you know, half of your fucking audience knows there's other wrestling out there. Again, most of the matches suck. 
Because they had the wrong fucking winners. Because now you... Where the fuck you get with half of these people? You gave people... Some people wins they shouldn't have won. Ah, damn. And then the, in your main event, at the end of the day, was a fucking match nobody fuck wants to see anymore. We got tired of it after the first and second um, ones. And then you kept pounding in her face. Trying to pound fucking her in, reins in her face. Fuck you, WWE. Big fucking double fuck you. You suck. What do you guys think? You tell me down below, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you guys take care, and I'll see you all next time.